up you guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new here hello my name is Deirdre for those of you returning welcome back today I am doing a like kind of smoky eye I'm interested on how I achieved this look make sure to continue watching so as you can see my face is already done we are just going to be doing an eye look today Let's see how I did my face it's usually the same in every video you could look back at past videos that I have posted and in the description I will link exactly what I used on my face. I'm just not recording it today. The only thing different about my face today is that I use the Aesthetica bronzer. Um, I believe it's the shade Sunset. I also got it in a BoxyCharm. We're going to be using the palette that I got in the August box. So I got this bronzer. It comes with a beautiful big mirror too, um, but it's just so pretty. It reminds me of the Hoola bronzer a lot. So I've been using that but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only new product that I used on my face that you guys didn't see before. The palette we're going to be using today is by Butter London. It's the Teddy Boy collection. So, so pretty. All these shades. So we're going to be doing like a neutral eye look today using this. First up, I'm going to be using the this color right here, Nigel a very simple light color. This is just going to be our base coat as well as our blender shade. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that I always make sure to blend out all my shadows. It does not matter what color it is with a base neutral color. This just helps you um, blend the harsh lines away and clean up any mistakes or fallout that you may have had while doing your makeup. So next up, I'm gonna go into this Simon shade right here. This, I'm gonna focus this more on the outer corner and in my crease. And then we're gonna go in with the darker brown color and darken that up. But this is just going to set the foundation of exactly where I want that shadow to go. Okay, so this is the Graham color. This is the darker brown that I'm going into now. I'm just darkening up that brown shadow that we used, that light brown. Not going all the way up, but still putting it in here. Once I get this dark shade on, we're going to go in and clean up all those lines. Again, like I said, with that very first color that we used. Yeah, these brushes are very hard to use. Like the shadow is beautiful, but these brushes just aren't it. Uh, I'm gonna go in with this brush. Now that we just cleaned it up, I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to use the Simon color, the light brown, just one more time. They are pigmented, but not as pigmented like as I would like, so we're just going to go back in really quick. Try to darken it, but not too dark, just a little bit. go in with this shade Freddy. It looks like it's a light 
a pale blue, if you want to call it that. So I think I'm just going to go onto this angle brush and I'm going to try to get it underneath my eye. And we're going to see if this make, makes the eyes pop. Browns and blues are beautiful for blue eyes. So it should work nicely. Yeah, that's pretty. I'll just do the other eye. And I'm just gonna bring that into a little bit of the top just to blend it. We don't wanna turn this into a blue look, but I just wanna make sure that those two colors marry each other really nicely, which they do. So then I'm just going to go in with Simon again, and we're just going to go into that inner corner, outer corner, just one more time. I'm going to be going in with Archie right here on the inner, and then we're going to be doing, I think, this Billy color right in the middle. It's like a darkish brown, we're going to do that on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go in with that darker sparkle first and we're just gonna press this into the outer corner. This adds another layer of depth, it's really pretty. Actually, I like it a lot. I'm just gonna do it to the other side as well. Okay, and then we are going to go in with the lighter color on the same brush. Just pack this onto the inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my top waterline and I'm going to just put black in here. And then same thing to the other eye. Just really tight line it. Okay, and then on the bottom lash, I'm just going to go in with the Avon Gel Eyeliner Pencil, the shade Aqua Pop, and we're just going to put this underneath our eye. And then I'm going to put on some of my Glamnetic lashes with the Magnetic Eyeliner and we are going to go in with the Live-In Lash today. This is the more simple one um, because this isn't just a crazy dramatic look. I think that these lashes are going to work perfect. Nice and simple lashes. So, okay, lashes are on. So now we are going to line our lips and put some lip gloss on. Um, this is the Suede Matte Lip Liner from NYX. Uh, lip pencil. It is in the shade Sandstorm and it is my absolute favorite and go-to nude. Um, I used to never line my lips. I'm not really sure why I never did. And then finally I was like, I need to just go get a nude lip liner because I always wear nude lips. So I figured this was the best shade. I know a lot of um, other people that use this and I love the way it looked on them. So I bought it for me and I love it. So that's what we're going to be using today. And then as always, we are going in with the ultra blotted lip from ColourPop in the shade Starling. 
This is the most perfect nude, in my opinion. So we're just going to use this. And then I have the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip, and this is in the shade Here's to You. So this is more of a pinky shimmer, but I've been loving the way this looks on top of this color. So we're just going to put some on. Oh, and it just smells so, so good. I just think it smells like cupcakes. Like or cookies like I literally want to go eat like a snack after putting these on <laughs> okay so this is the final look if you liked this look as much as I did make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell for all my future uploads and as always I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video bye